Hey, what's up, y'all? J. Anthony checking in with y'all, man. Welcome to the J. Anthony YouTube channel. And I really got an important truck I want to introduce you guys to. This is part of my personal collection. Right here, I've got my 1988 Chevy Silverado uh, Big Red. So I initially bought this truck in the beginning of 2019. This is actually the second truck that I have ever bought. And you guys know I've sold hundreds of pickup trucks. And this is overall one of the second trucks that I have bought. So initially I bought this truck to sell it. But what ended up happening is I paid a little bit too much for it. And well, at the time I did, and I didn't really have any more profit room to squeeze out of it. So I ended up just keeping it for myself over time. But this truck taught me a valuable, valuable lesson. What this truck taught me is you never get emotional in an auction. So the story behind this truck, I was in the auction. I saw this truck coming up. I didn't even see it on the run list or nothing like that. And I seen it coming up. I ran up to it, checked it out as quick as I could, right? Got in the lane, you know, started at like $1,500, ran up all the way to $3,400. And I ended up getting the truck. Uh, a very, very experienced car dealer walked up to me as I was going to the, uh, to the register to pay cash for the truck. He walked up to me. He said, hey, young blood, what's your plans with that truck? I said, man, I'm going to sell it. He said, how much you going to sell it for? And I said, uh, like maybe five fifty five. He said, ah, you might have trouble getting that much money for that truck uh, in the market we in. So he told me, he said, man, you never get emotional in them auctions. I seen how bad you wanted the truck. And that's why you got so motivated to get it because you wanted that truck too bad. You know what I'm saying? So your emotions took over your conscience. So from that moment, I never, well, I still do it, man. I still get emotional, man. It's one of the things that happens in the auction, but let's take a quick look at my truck, man. So what I did, I painted it. Uh, I put this grill, put the headlights, uh, put, the, put the rims, dropped it a little bit, you know, and one thing you can't fake is the interior on this truck. It's not perfect, man, but it's not bad at all. Uh, like I say, it's a 1988. You know what I'm saying? We'll start it up and drive it here in a second, guys. I'm just trying to show you the, the shell of this truck. That's the interior, man. Everything is original pretty much. You know, nothing, I mean, it's not fake. You know, I, I haven't did any work to the interior. Look at that dash. I haven't even played with the dash. Ain't no cracks in the dash on my truck. You know, so I really just wanted to show you guys, give you guys a quick, quick look. Now we're about to have a little bit of fun and go drive around a little bit. And I'm going to do a little bit of talking about the motor and stuff that I got in, into this truck. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys. So right now I'm about to do a cold start on the truck. Uh, this truck has been sitting for over a year. You got to keep that in mind. I just got it back on Monday. Today's Friday. So I've been driving it. Uh, for like 30 minutes a day so far. Um, just kind of trying to get the truck back running right because it's not running right yet. It's still misfiring. I think it's a bad gas thing. So that's what I'm uh, doing now, man. Just getting those, goes those legs stretched out on her. Cause like I say, she been sitting, man. She has been sitting. <laughs> But don't let the truck fool you. It's cold right now, so it's gonna run a little bit good when it's cold. As it heats up, it's gonna start running funny. So that's what I'm trying to pay attention to as we go on this drive. See how it's, but it's still idling good. I'm still getting 800. 900 RPM at idle, so it's idling good. See how she fell dead on me. She need to be revved up.
So now I think she pretty much getting to that point so where she gonna idle pretty good. She might try to lope out in a minute one more time, but after that, she about to be right. I can hear, I'm listening to her. One thing about having something for a long time, you get to know it pretty good. She sound okay right now. My air fuel ratio look pretty good. I got a Holly Sniper kit on this truck, so I, I can see pretty much everything. The truck is pretty much talking to me. I can see my battery voltage, I can see my RPMs, I can see my air fuel ratio, and I can also see the temperature of the motor. Right now I'm at 140, which is pretty good. So now I'm about to hit the road and see how she's driving. I can tell that she misfiring too, boy. That bad gas, I put some sea foam in it, but it just needs to be driven, guys. This truck needs to be driven. This truck needs a lot of attention right now. See, look, I was trying to fall dead on me. I'm not gonna lie, guys. The reason why I had this truck parked for so long, I got tired of the headache, man. It's always something with this old stuff. If it's if it's not, you know, EFI, big difference. Big difference in reliability. It's a fast truck, it's a quick truck, it's got a lot of torque, it's fun, it's cool, it dry, it gets a lot of attention, but it's a headache. So right now, I'm just gonna kinda cruise in her, let her warm up a little bit. Cause like I say, uh, sometimes as the truck gets warm, it starts to run rougher. And then once she really gets stretched out, she'll start to run even smoother. So just gotta try to find that balance. going about 50 right now. I mean, she seemed like she running okay. I got a little bit of a misfire though. I can hear it. But it's not misfire right here. She want to open up. See, once I get to like 45, 50, but now she misfiring again. I know the truck, you know, I know, I know when she running right and I know when she running rough. But that's what stretching them legs out is all about. See, that ain't no miss, that's clean. Now I'm at uh, about 201. My second fan is probably about to kick on, 202. So she hot now. But that second fan hasn't kicked on, it's probably finna kick on in a second. There it go. Second fan just kicked on, so now it's gonna start cooling back down. I'm at 205. It'll probably go back down to like 198. It's already back down to 198. Running real good right now. 195 degrees right now. Back cruising. I say she running pretty good right now. And the reason why I'm not on the highway, I kind of wanted to see how she was going to ride right now. But I think she riding good enough to hit that highway. Oh yeah. pretty 
looking good right now. Not even gonna lie. She running like a champ. Oh yeah, she grabbing right now. She wanna go. She wanna go. <laughs> Man, just listening to it though, man, because the thing about this old stuff, it can be running good and in, 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 in an instant, something can get too hot or anything, man. It just start tripping on you, it start misfiring, start running crazy. Look how much torque this truck has. I know y'all ain't in the truck with us, but I know my boy right here, <laughs> he, he feel that torque. I know he feel that torque. But it's not a fast truck. It's a strong truck. It's a big difference. The truck not fast though, man. It's just real strong, You're real torquey, low end torque. That's how it is. the truck all that bad gas truck getting rid of that bad gas the other day it was backfiring real bad from up underneath there right here by the manifold but it ain't doing that no more it's just doing it at the pipe it's getting rid of that bad gas man burning it off that's what that sea foam do it's hot though uh -huh. it's hot though <laughs> i had ac bro like for sure let me see if it worked now Bro, when I parked this truck, I had AC in it, bro. big red let me see if she'll but now she hot that's 30 minutes on the highway still grabbing and pulling 
Oh yeah. She getting down, baby. <laughs> she get down. For sure. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got a little bit more insight to see my personal taste on one of my personal vehicles. I kind of wanted to give you a look at the motor real quick. Now, I'm not fully, fully done with this truck, but for the most part, I got the basics pretty much done. So this right here is a 400 small block. I put the Holly Sniper EFI on this truck and that really opened up the 400 small block. But other than that, it's pretty much factory as far as like the headers and stuff go. And I only got a mild cam. But other than that, we good to go. But uh, I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and I appreciate all the support you guys have shown me. Also, I wanna ask that you continue to spread the word of this channel. That's the only way that this channel can continue to grow. Y'all guys still, I have still haven't did a little video on my little candy back there, but we ain't gonna talk about that, man. But uh, yeah, I really appreciate the support and all the love you guys have shown me on this channel. And uh, I'm gonna keep growing, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep it going, man. Uh, and I ask you guys to do the same, keep spreading the word. Uh, Jay Anthony, check it out.